welcome back my youtube family i'm your instructor my name is rashid and today i want to share something really exciting with you imagine this you have just joined a new company and your first task is to create a sales dashboard to track performance at first it might seem difficult right i will show you how easy it is to make a useful sales dashboard using looker studio looker studio makes everything simple whether you are working with fmcg data or any other industry it's super flexible and guess what this episode is designed for absolute beginners so even if you have never used looker studio before by the end of this episode you will be confident using it in this episode we will build a complete sales dashboard step by step and once you have finished watching you will be able to create dashboard not just for sales but for any department or any sector in your company that's the power of looker studio so stick with me until the end because this episode is packed with practical tips that you to impress your boss or clients let's dive in and get started so first of all we have to understand why looker studio is important and why we must use looker studio to create this sales dashboard so the first thing is this is easy to learn looker studio is designed in a way that anyone can use it even if you are new to data analysis the interface is very user friendly and doesn't require special skills you don't need to know any programming or advanced tech technical terms it's perfect for beginners as the steps to create reports and dashboards are easy to follow the second thing is it's totally free looker studio is 100% free which is a big advantage especially if you are working on a tight budget or just starting out you don't have to pay for expensive softwares all the basic features at no cost which makes it great for small business or individuals customizable reports one of the best thing about the looker studio is that you can make the reports and dashboards look exactly how you want you can choose what data to show and how to show it for example you can add charts graphs and tables that are important for your business and leave out the ones that are not you required this help you to focus on the numbers that matters most to you next one is looker studio connects easily to popular tools like google analytics google sheets and even more this means you can pull all your data from different places into one dashboard you don't don't have to jump between multiple platforms to see your data the next thing is the interactive and shareable dashboards the reports you create in looker studio are not just static but interactive this means you can click on the charts and filter to explore different parts of your dashboard it makes understanding your number easier and more engaging plus sharing the reports with your team or clients is super easy you can send them in link and they can view the report online without needing any any special software let's take a quick look at the data set we will be using for our sales dashboard the region column tells us which part of the country the sales are coming from and the territory breaks it down into smaller areas within that region the brand column show us which product sales we are tracking then we have the actual date the exact day the sales were made finally we have the retail sales wholesale and the total sales retail sales are coming from the retail shops wholesales are coming from the wholesale shops and if i will add the retail into wholesale it will give me the total sales now that we are familiar with our data let's move on setting up the looker studio looker studio is a powerful tool that allows us to create interactive and shareable dashboards with ease so i will be visiting looker studio dot google dot com so this is the main interface of looker studio first of all click the plus button to open a new report in looker studio then i will select google sheets as my data is stored there i will search for sales here select the sales data set and then click add to open the data set in looker studio next this default table will be here i will remove this default table simply select it and delete from your keyboard now i will rename this project to sales dashboard in looker studio i will pick up the rectangular shape from the toolbar i will copy it and create three cards In this panel I will change the color to black 
After that, I will copy and paste the card on the right side and again paste it one more time on the right side. Now, I will drag the retail sales onto the canvas and it will convert it into a card. I will place this card on the first shape. Then I will go to style, change the text color to white. and center align it again. I will copy this retail sales and paste it onto the second card and third card. On the second card, I will change the data to wholesales. And for this third card, I will change it to white total sales now i will add a title to the dashboard i will type sales dashboard set the font size to 24 and center align it Next, I will add a chart by selecting the line chart from here. Then I will active this date hierarchy. I will delete year and date. In style, I will change the title to sales by month. And update this metric from retail to total sales. I will also change the border color in this style section. I will be selecting from here. I will copy the line chart and place it at the bottom left of the dashboard. Then I will change the chart type to the donut chart. Set the dimension to region. In style, I will center align the and move the legend to the bottom. Next, I will copy the donut chart and paste it on the right side. I will change the chart type to bar chart. and set this dimension to brand because my this chart is for brand finally i will update the chart titles the first chart will be the sales by region and the second chart will be the sales by brand and this option is under my tile. I will make another copy. Update the title to sales by territory. Change the dimension to the territory. Now I will click view to see how it looks. It looks great. Lastly, I will add an image, adjust the size and place it on the top of the dashboard. In conclusion, this dashboard provides a clear snapshot of our sales performance across regions, categories and times. It's a powerful tool to help us understand data-driven decisions and identify opportunities for growth. If you found this episode helpful, please subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you in the next episode.